Good morning, everyone. This is Professor Zirk. And since we're getting ready to start working on our research papers, I wanted to go over what we're going to do. We're going to do it in three parts. So I want to kind of break it all down with you. So hold on just a minute. Let me share my screen here. And here we go. So research paper steps to success. So the first thing we need to know is how we're gonna do the research paper. We're going to do it in three steps. First, we're going to, you're going to submit a research paper topic. Uh, what you want to study, the discipline, the era, maybe the specific artist. And that's going to be due on Sunday, November 11th at the end of the day. That is worth 25 points towards your grade. You will not be graded on content, but you will be graded on how you put the two to three paragraphs together. Then after we come back from the Thanksgiving week break, which for those of you who didn't know, we will not have class uh, the week of Thanksgiving. So that'll give you time to get caught up on various assignments or take a break or uh, whatever works for you best. So the second part of this will be an abstract and an annotated bibliography, which includes your thesis or your argument and the scholarly sources you want to use for this assignment. Uh, I'm going to review that and give you feedback in enough time so that you can incorporate any suggestions into your final paper. You should probably have done a good chunk of the work by the time you get to the abstract and annotated bibliography it's in a later module, but that's going to be 25% of the total grade towards this project. And then your final research paper, five to six pages, excluding the bibliography, will be due on Sunday, December 9th at the end of the day, and that's worth 150 points. So as you can see, this, the research paper altogether is worth 200 points towards your grade, which is 25% of your grade. And since you have lots of time to work on this, everybody should be able to get pretty close to 200 points. So our first part of this is to come up with a topic idea. And I know that's really hard for some people. You can pick something from the Sayer textbook labeled Closer Look. Those are the, maybe they look at a painting or a building, the architecture of the building, perhaps a style of something or another. Uh, you could also just pick a humanities discipline talk, topic that you are interested in, in the era that's covered in this course, which is 1400 to present globally. So that gives you a lot of options. Um, it could be film, it could be art, architecture, philosophy, poetry, literature, theater, um, you know, anything that we've been studying in this class. You can take your topics from any of the Sayer textbook chapters or any of the topics covered in modules two, three, and four, which are before we started using the Sayer textbook. And then I want you to think small. Your paper will only be five to six pages, excluding the bibliography. You cannot cover the entire European or even the entire Harlem Renaissance in five to six pages. So normally the feedback that I'll be giving for the average person at least is that their topic is too big when I'm grading these. Okay. Now that we're on the right slide, uh, this is how the research paper top will be grading. So you're going to type double spaced in 11 or 12 point font. 
organization. You include an introduction and a hypothesis. The hypothesis doesn't have to be a good one or a strong one, just needs to be there. And then grammar. You get five points if you don't have any uh, grammatical or spelling errors. Remember, you can use your word processing software to pick out the most egregious errors. And then you can use friends, family members, your study team members to review your submission before you actually submit it. Because if somebody else reads it, they notice uh, a lack of clarity that perhaps you as the subject matter expert on this topic would have missed. And then finally, in Blackboard in the same uh, item, you will see a sample from a previous class. This sample is from hum Humanities 101, which covers a different era, so the topic is not at all appropriate for this class, but I think you'll get the idea of what I'm looking for. Again, if you have questions, email me, drop in a Zoom on office hours, or post a question on the Q&A form, and let's all have a discussion. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful day.